So let's talk about the big dogs. My team, the Texas Longhorns. And I bet you're all wondering, what's my prediction for this season? Well, let me just kill the suspense right now. Texas Longhorns are going undefeated and winning the national championship in Pasadena. I don't see any reason why they shouldn't. I think they're the best team in college football, and I think that they that have the chance of beating anyone on the field this season. Now, could they screw – I mean, Texas had good enough teams to win the national championship in the past couple years. Uh, had they screwed up on the field and lost games they shouldn't have? Yes, and they've got beat by good teams as well. So I'm not saying we can't lose, and there's, there's no way this isn't happening. But I think I'm pretty confident in saying that I think these Texas Longhorns are built for this year, and this year they will be winning the national title. you got Colt McCoy coming back. Uh, one of, I think, is the best quarterback coming back in the country. Of course, there's, there's a debate for that. And you got nine offensive starters coming back, nine offensive starters, including four offensive linemen. And uh, you've also got a wide receiver core who only lost Quan Cosby, who is a huge part of this team. I'm not going to doubt that. Quan, one of the best Longhorns I've seen. But you've got Jordan Shipley, Malcolm Williams, Kirk and the rest of the guys. Uh, and, of course, in the backfield, you've got some guys who need to prove something. Faza Whitaker and Vondrell McGee and uh, Cody Johnson. Those guys, uh, you know, last year, Colt pretty much took the brunt of the running game. Those guys need to step up, and I think they will, to take that away. Colt, I love him running. He needs to continue to run. But I'd like to have a little bit more support in the backfield. Uh, I think it's okay for Colt to lead. The, I, there's a lot of Longhorns fans who say if Colt leads, leads this team in rushing again, we won't win the national title. Got to disagree with that because last season we lo- we lost a one second we had a one second loss to Tech and Colt had did all he could. He wasn't on the field at the end of that game. So if that doesn't happen, we're in the national championship. So I think Colt can be leading rusher. I'd rather the other guys step up and help us out more, but I think we'll be fine either way. On defense, secondary is all coming back. Um, you know, it was all freshmen and sophomores last year. Those guys are now sophomores and juniors coming in. Linebacking core led by Sergio Kendall, who I think we're going to move kind of a defensive end, somewhat of a DeMarcus Ware type. Going to move him a lot around on offense. Now on the defensive line, we lost quite a bit. Rack and Roy Miller, two great players, great Longhorns, big shoes to fill. And Sam Acho, Eddie Jones, and some of those guys are going to step up and try to do that. But you still got Lamar Houston up front to open up some holes or clog some holes uh, for this defense, open them up for the linebackers to get in the backfield. I am excited about this season. I don't see any reason why these Longhorns should not host the Coach's Trophy in Pasadena this season. It's been too long since we had a a national championship, you know. uh, I've been spending time uh, in my my free time, really, like I look back at those national championship videos and and stuff, as a lot of Longhorn fans do, and you really do. You you want that again. It was great that one time, but I think we, we've got the team to do that again. So I'd like to say, you know, Oklahoma State, Oklahoma. Uh, well, first off, let me just talk to the contenders. So if your team is a contender, which in my book is if you're ranked in the top 12, nail it further, I would consider yourself you have a viable shot at maybe getting into the national championship game. Uh, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. Um, Oklahoma State has gotten a lot better. We've beaten them nine times in a row. And we're going to their house on Halloween night. I am planning on being in that game. I should get my tickets soon, and I'm planning on being there Halloween night. It's that's going to be the that what people are looking for. That's going to be the Texas Tech game for for Texas, like last year was to with Texas Tech, uh, going on the road, hostile environment, and a bunch improved, a very a, a very good team uh, on the road, and being on Halloween night. That's usually where uh, top teams go to die. Um, so, but. <laughs> Uh, I, Oklahoma State has proven that they can have a defense. Uh, they offensively, with Des Bryant, Kendall Hunter, and Zach Robinson and the rest of that team, uh, their offense is on par with some of the best in this entire country. Defense, I don't know. I don't know what they've got. Um, you know, may, I, I, I expect that they got better than they did last year, uh, but we'll have to see. Oklahoma, OU, let me tell you straight up, I think Texas is winning that game right now because – all about the offensive line. And, look, I'm not going to sit here and say that OU's offensive line is going to suck this season. Because, let's face it, even though those are Oklahoma, those guys are not proven and have not been on the field, uh, they're still OU recruits. OU is one of the best teams in the country. I, I hate them, but I'm not going to deny that. But, at the same time, our offensive line is experienced, and these guys are Texas recruits. As I said with OU recruits, they're great. Texas recruits are great as well. These guys have experience. 
Also, I don't believe Sam Bradford can run. I know a lot of you guys say he's mobile and that he can get away. I haven't seen it yet. So until I do, I don't believe you. I think that we we abused Sam Bradford in the fourth quarter of last season with that great offensive line. I think with a younger offensive line and Sergio Kendall coming into his own, uh, I believe that we will just annihilate Sam Bradford, and I don't think Oklahoma is going to take us this year. Now, Texas Tech is on schedule as well. We got them in week three. I think Oklahoma, I mean, I think Texas Tech has taken a step back. Do I think it is as a big a step as most of us would like to think? Probably not. Mike Leach always puts in a, a formidable offense out there that can contend with almost anyone they play. But I think the games in Austin, they're not as good as they were last year, and Texas is as good or better than they were last season. Um, I've heard, as I said in one of my Texas Tech videos, Tech fans are even saying they're, they're putting that, they're not even going to win that game. Uh, do I think it's going to be a blowout? I love it to be a blowout, but for some reason, I just don't feel it. Now, let's be frank, guys. The rest of our schedule is a cupcake. It's a, it's a cakewalk. We, our non-conference is pathetic. We play UL Monroe to start the season. We go on the road at Wyoming. We play UTEP at home, and we've got UCF at home. Um, that's pathetic. It's borderline embarrassing. But I would like to remember the last time Texas had a pretty uh, easy schedule. That was 2005. The only, only game against a quality opponent we played that season was Ohio State. And we won that game by the skin of our teeth over at the Horseshoe. Oklahoma, the, the big tw- uh, Oklahoma had a bad year. The Big 12 was a down, was a down conference that season. Um, Texas was the only quality team. Oklahoma was rebuilding. And, you know, Texas, I, I, my hat's off to Texas A&M that season. They gave us one heck of a game over in College Station. But we pulled it out and won. And, I mean, in the, nor- the North was as pathetic as it's ever been. I think Colorado had like two or three losses and won the North. And we ended up playing them, beating them 70-3, to uh, just to kind of let you know the disparity there. And let's talk about the Big 12 championship. If I'm going to pick us to go undefeated, that means I have us winning the national. Cha- I mean, winning the Big 12 championship. And as I said, I think it's Nebraska. I think Nebraska is. I think Bo Pelini has done has done a direct great job, and I think he's going to get that team ready to win the North. I think they'll win it pretty easily. Um, but at the same time, I don't think Nebraska is up to our level yet. So of course I've got us winning that. So I'm very excited. I like to say, and. and First off, before I leave, I like to talk to all the rest of the teams in the country, all the fans here on YouTube who have, who answered the call that I made. Hit me and Onikuno and some of the other and Sooner Sun too of the, the the Big Twelve guys asking other teams around the country to get on here. And uh, I see I like to give credit to the you know Alabama's got like four or five fans already. They're growing pretty fast. I mean the SEC really did answer the call. That was our main deal. What a lot of SEC fans on here, and you guys have really shown up. So congratulations to that. That being said, uh, don't expect your team uh, to be winning the championship this year. Uh, oh, and, and also to talk about the conference pride. Um, I, uh, last season I was going hardcore for the Florida Gators because I can't stand Oklahoma. Now, I don't think that the rivalries in the Big 12 are more, I don't know, uh, more hated or, or whatever uh, or more fierce in the Big 12 than on the SEC. Not saying that. I'm just saying Texas-Oklahoma is more more of a – uh, hate, hateful um, rivalry than what you have in the SEC. I, I've, I love it. Every time Oklahoma loses, I, 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 I enjoy it. I, I, can't, I can't say it enough. I cannot stand the Oklahoma Sooners. And when USC destroyed them years ago in the National Championship, I couldn't have been happier. Now, I'm not going to, as I said before, if your team gets further than my team, unlike, unlike last year, when it's, when, it's, when it's legitimately your team gets further than my team, I may enjoy you lose, but I'm not going to gloat. Because you beat my team, so I'll leave it alone. But I can still enjoy the loss. So, no, I'm not going to chant Big 12, Big 12, or, uh, you know, get all happy when a Big 12 team wins a ball game. Just not me. It's about these horns. And uh, everyone else, I could care less. So, hope everybody else has a great season. I look to have the best season. But if you guys think I'm wrong, which I know uh, most of you probably think I'm wrong, let me know. Write a comment or uh, post a video response. I'm going to put uh, a, as many Longhorn video makers as I can in the sidebar uh, as, I, as I can think of. And if I miss you, let me know and I'll try, to, I'll try to add you. But that being said, Texas Longhorns fans, we can always use more. Uh, so please get on here and get your camera. It's going to be a special season. Everybody else, the eyes of Texas are upon you.
Hook'em Horns and Texas Fight. See you guys later.